Hey guys, in this video lesson we would understand what is scalar multiplication of vectors and we would also cover a few examples to understand it better. So a simple definition of scalar multiplication of vectors is that when a scalar is multiplied with a vector quantity is called scalar multiplication of vectors. So a scalar is a simple number with no direction on it and vector we all know is number with direction. Let's take up an example where you have to multiply a scalar with a vector. Here 3 is the scalar and x is a vector. If you want to find out what is 3x that means we are multiplying the scalar with a vector. Let's say we are given x vector as 3, 5. This is the component form of vectors. And we want to find out what is 3x. All we have to do is just write it like this. So 3 is multiplied with 3, 5. That is the x vector representation. And we do distributive property. 3 times 3 gives us 9. 3 times 5 gives us 15. So 3x vector is 9, 15. If we are asked to write it down in Cartesian form, so we can write on x vector as 3i plus 5j. You can write it with a vector sign or a cap sign. So 3x would be 3 multiplied by 3i plus 5j. And from here we would get 9i plus 15j. And that's our 3x vector. So be the question given in component form or it's given in Cartesian form. We follow the same steps. We are actually doing distributive property. So here also we are multiplying 3 with 3, 3 with 5 and we are doing distributive property. Now if we are supposed to find out the magnitude of 3x vector, we can pick any of these forms. Magnitude of 9 and 15 would be 9 square plus 15 square square root which is 81 plus 225 which gives us square root of 306. Because we do not know what are the units, we just put square root 306 units. So let's summarize quickly. If you want to find out a scalar multiplied with a vector value, you're given a scalar, 3 is a scalar, x is a vector. If you're given a vector in component form, that is the coordinates given for a vector and we have to multiply it by a given scalar. All we have to do is just multiply the scalar with each of the coordinates, x and y, and then the result that we get is the new x and the new y value. If you're given the question in Cartesian form, Cartesian form is this, you know, unit vector form, i cap and j cap form. So in this case also, we have to do the same thing. We multiply three with each of these numbers, and the numbers have now tripled. We have 9i plus 15j. No matter which form you're given in, magnitude is always the same method. You take x square plus y square and square root the whole thing. And then whatever is your answer, you put it with your units. Let's do a problem related to this. We have to determine the value of x and y if we are given 3x1 minus 5, 2,3y is equal to 11,33. Now we know this is what we are given as component form or the coordinate form. This is the x value, this is the y value, this is the x value, y value, and this is the x value, y value. So these are technically the vectors and these are the scalars. 3 is a scalar, 5 is a scalar. We do not have a scalar here. So first of all, we would multiply the scalar with the vector and we will write it down in simplified form and we get 3x 3 times 1 is 3 minus 5 times 2 is 10 3 times 5 is 15 we are taking 5 as a positive right now because I'm putting this negative sign here as is so 5 times 2 is 10 5 times 3 is 15 y equal to 11 33 now whenever we have to solve for x and y all we have to do is just separate out x and y values so this is x, this is x, and this is x. So we would separate out the x coordinates and you would have 3x minus 10 equal to 11. Similarly, we can separate out the y coordinates and we can get 3 minus 15y equal to 33. Now we can solve for x here. So that would be equal to, we can move this first on the other side, 11 plus 10, which is 21. x value is equal to 7. Similarly here, we can isolate y. So we would get 33 minus 3, which is 30, minus 15y. y is equal to 30 divided by minus 15, which gives us a negative 2. So from here, we got the x value to be 7, and we got the y value to be negative 2, and we have solved the problem. Let's do another question for the sake of practice. If you're given vector a, which is minus i plus 2j plus k, this is the Cartesian form, 
of vector in three space. We are given vector b equal to 2j minus 3k. Here i is missing means i is a zero. c is equal to i minus 3j plus 2k. We have to determine 2a minus 3b plus 4c. So let's first find out all of these individual values. So let's find out 2a first. We know 2a is nothing but 2 scalar multiplied by vector a. We are given vector a as this, and we would multiply 2 with this vector. We have to do distributive property. No number here means it's a 1, so 2 times negative 1 is a negative 2. 2 multiplied by 2 is a 4j. 2 multiplied by k, we get a 2k. Similarly, we will be able to get 3b value. So 3b is nothing but 3 multiplied by vector b. Because i is missing, we can put it as 0i. 3 times 0 is a 0, so we technically are left with 0i itself. Plus, we have got 6j minus 9k. Next, we get as 4c. So, 4c is 4 multiplied by vector c, and that is i minus 3j plus 2k. When we multiply this, we get 4i minus 12j plus 8k. So now all we have to do is just do 2a vector minus 3b vector plus 4c vector. So we would be subtracting this and this, and we would be adding that to this. This is what we're supposed to solve. 2a is minus 2i plus 4j plus 2k minus 3b is 0i plus 6j minus 9k and plus 4c is 4i minus 12j plus 8k. We are always supposed to collect our like terms. So i, i and i together. Similarly j, j, j will put together and k values will put together. But before doing that we'll work with the sign first. Here we have collected the i values, here we have collected the j values and here we have collected all the k values. So when we simplify this, minus 2 minus 0 plus 4 gives us a 2i. 4 minus 6 is a minus 2 minus 12 is a negative 14j. 2 plus 9 is 11 plus 8 is 19k. So the final answer in Cartesian form is 2i minus 14j plus 19k. If you're supposed to write this answer in component 4, we just have to put it like this. And this is how we multiply scalars with vectors.